Congratulations on this project. It left me speechless. It left me, it, it impacted me in such a different way than uh, other films that I've seen from this festival. Um, I guess for Molly first, uh, why, uh, wh oh, how, how did you come to the conclusion that you wanted to be, uh, to make this and be so vulnerable in the process of making it as well? Um, I felt like I had a story to tell that would be um, that would be well received in the universe because um, I was feeling like people in society have, have, are losing some of their coping skills. And my friends motivated me to tell my story because of the way I deal with life and its moments every day because it's every day all day long. And I don't really get a rest. Mm -hmm. so um that was a huge motivation i think i'm so sorry i lost my card uh, my cord it's okay one, one second okay got it mm -hmm. um that was a huge part because um i would travel or my friends would seeing me do uh things with them that I guess in their minds they felt was so hard to do. And I always did it with a light sense and just tried to make sure people didn't view me as a handicapped person. And that's what motivated me to tell my story. Uh, with Molly being so open uh, to share this story, how did her story impact you? Uh, um, it it's I'm on Molly's it's Robin. my name is Robin. Oh, Robin. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm on my daughter's laptop because I'm in Manhattan. <laughs> Having her be so vulnerable, how did the, her story impact you guys? So I think so much of her story was the reason why we were so compelled to make the film because it really is so inspirational and so just it puts things in perspective, right? Like it makes you realize, like, oh, when you get when you get upset because your DoorDash is late or your Uber is late, right? It's like, okay, these are not things to be upset about, right? There's there's so much to be grateful for. And there's so many elements of every human being's life that we could find reasons to be grateful and reasons to appreciate what we do have. And, and that's not to take away from people's hardships and pain because we all have hardship and pain. But I think working with Robin was really eye-opening and like you like you shared thank you so much prior just like how it really made an impact on you and that's what we wanted to show was like we all have darkness and we all have the ability to work with that darkness how we choose our challenges or darkness or whatever you want to call it um so there was definitely many moments of just awe and wow and reflection for our own lives of do we take this for granted like do we take the fact that we can get up and get a glass of water without thinking about it and, and making 50 moves to do that, you know, and still have a smile on your face. So it um, for a while was very, mm -hmm. and still to this day, very empowering and inspiring and definitely makes you take a step back and look at yourself and see where you maybe complain or take things for granted. Definitely. And um, watching this, uh, there was so many different elements to it that I think, haven't been really explored when I, I've seen other projects about MS, like the anxiety aspect of it, the, you know, how it's an uh, everyday process. It, you know, there's a different levels of it every single day. Uh, for Robin, um, how important was it for you to, to get those messages across and make sure people understand that it's not like something you deal with once and that's it. It's something you go through every single day. Um, well, for instance, it's not in the film, but yesterday I wasn't feeling great and I had to fly to New York and there was such a difference in my MS. Like my legs were just not cooperating. And to be honest, I got through the moment and the morning and I feel like the film encapsulated that the MS is not, is not like a daily it, you have to deal well 
for my particular kind of MS. You have to deal with it minute by minute, second by second, because if you turn too quick, there's so many avenues. You never get a, a rest from the MS, you know? You always have to be thinking of your mobility, your modality. How am I getting from this spot? Even if it's going from the scooter that you see that I use to a restroom or to a dinner chair, or how am I managing through the restaurant or how just so many intimacies that um, I feel like I said in the film that I try not to view myself as handicapped. I look in the mirror every day and kind of say, you can do this. And that's sort of what's helped me not be so challenged all day long. Uh, how difficult was it to capture um, Robin's story and and tell it in a way where it's very inspiring, it's very positive, and there you don't really feel anything negative. You you don't feel her that that she, uh, Robin is handicapped. You you have inspiration from her. How you know how did that come about? How difficult was it to get to that point? Well. It was very natural to work with her. You know, that wasn't a complication. You know, like we we make sure that we were gonna shoot in the places that were kind of comfortable or we knew that we needed, you know, certain streets in New York to at certain time to make sure that, you know, to reflect the kind of realities that Robin goes through. Uh, but other than that, you know, Robin was very natural all the time, very easy. Uh, the team, we had a small team, so we tried to make everything like, you know, manageable. So it wasn't that wasn't so complicated. It was difficult when it came to um, you know we needed so much footage to represent Robin in her past and with her family and with everything that she's been through. You know the story about her father, her husband. That was complicated because we had to you know collect a lot of different data and, and try to you know put it together in a way that was um, still inspiring in the end, or like still like regardless of whatever complications, hardships, challenges you're facing, like Robin said, in moment to moment, second by second, there's still always that possibility to look at the positive or the inspiration. And obviously, I think it was also, if you want to no, no, continue, but just to bring it to Robin is very naturally, and of course, there are moments when she's not, she's a human being, but Robin really does, even in her moments of anxiety, see it from like, okay, I can do this, and I'm going to face this and, and and roll through this rather than allow it to to take over me and I'm the victim. So that really is her modus operandi of like, okay, I'm going to get through this and I'm going to do this and I have to be strong and I have to be positive, um, which was something that was easy to capture because there's so much of that. Mm -hmm. um, so it was kind of like all that dramatic tension was built into the story just by Robin's presence and how she every second has to navigate her life because of how she is abled differently. Definitely. And Robin, um, how do you feel when, you know, somebody like me gets impacted by this story so much or uh, how the filmmakers, you know, have so much care for your story? How do you feel as, as it's being created and it's impacting the world? Um, It makes me feel like I'm making a difference. And the motivation for the film was to inspire others. So um, I'm so grateful for the what you just said, because that really was the intent of the film. And I feel like Brianne and Miguel interpret my, I've said it over, have interpreted my story brilliantly. They really captured what I go through. Um, and in the way I try to do it, you know, which is with light and happiness or all the adjectives that, you know. Um, so it, it makes me feel great that it's touched your heart. Maybe you'll look at somebody you love a little bit differently next time or, you know. Definitely. And for for all of you, this story, it seems so much bigger. Is there any thought in expanding this and making this a feature or a series or something because there's so much more that could be said about this topic. Totally. Yeah, I mean, we yes. speak about it. Like the, of course, that's a dream. You know, we would love to be able to get the right uh, budget to be able to make a feature, to make a series. You know, as you mentioned, there's so many themes 
in this movie. You know, it's not only a mess. It's not only a you know crime. It's not. Only, it, there's so many, so many details, so many uh, levels and layers to the movie that, of course, we would love to expand. There's so much we would love to tell. There's so much that hasn't been told. That, you know, it's a very complicated uh, movie, and the fact that we did it in 30 minutes, you know. Like, of course, you want more, you know, because there's so much to tell, obviously. And yeah, that's our feeling. We would love to make a, you know, to continue. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations on this. It's a beautiful project. It's very inspiring. And thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much for having me.